You have done some very lovely things. What's the place? I'm not sure when Adam will be home. But I'll be sure to tell him to stop by. Oh, I can wait. Weren't you off traveling around the world or something? Well, the idea of running tempo again was just too intriguing to pass up. Excuse me? Well, I have to interview like everyone else, of course. That's why I'm here. But Adam's office said that all the interviews had been canceled, so I stopped by to see what's going on. Do you, do you know if he's hired someone? He did. His new wife. Sorry, Brooke. I'm Tempo's new editor-in-chief. The swab's at the lab. I put a rush on it. If it's from a family member, the chances of it being a match are... The odds are very good. God, thanks for meeting us. Oh, my God. Captain has distended the bowel sounds. BB's on the slide down to the help. Police chart, we need blood to the lab ASAP. Let's get him in a cubicle with six. What happened? Is it JR? Adam, Adam, listen, it's all right. We'll take care of him. What happened? He wasn't feeling well. He got lightheaded and he collapsed. Is Daddy going to be okay? You're real. I thought it was a dream. Me being here, telling you I loved you. It wasn't a dream, Greenlee. It's real. Marry Greenlee, convince her to turn Fusion over to me, and get her out of town. Everyone's happy. So much better than... Who? Don't you think? I can't believe you got to Gale. One person I've been able to count on. You did it all yourself. You did it all when you decided that you'd marry me. All I did was just offer Gail a shoulder, some sympathy. Oh, of course, also the promise that you would burn in hell for everything you did to her. A marriage to Greenlee, that's close enough. You're incredible. I am. So now what's your answer? yours. editor-in-chief of Tempo? Yep. Do you have editorial experience? I have a vision. You do realize that some of the biggest names in journalism have been contacted to interview for this position. Yeah, which makes Adam choosing me all the more gratifying. Not to mention surprising. I've worked at Chandler Enterprises for quite some time now. I am very well aware of the financial challenges facing Tempo. I've also done a lot of writing. I'm very confident that I can restore Tempo to its former glory. Actually, I think I could probably surpass it. Well, I applaud your confidence. If that's all, um, Adam usually likes a little warning before his ex-wife stop by. So if you want to just head out this... Brooke? Scott. Oh, my oh, God, what are you Stuart? doing here? Oh, how are you? Oh. I'm sorry about Stuart. I got your letter. It was beautiful. Yeah, I wish I could have been here. Yeah. You were in the uh, outer reaches of Nepal? Well, I was really traveling and working all over Asia. I was uh, traveling with Laura. I was visiting Jamie in Africa. Well, I'm thrilled you found your way home. Oh, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she great? Come here, you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We were celebrating his birthday early. It was JR's idea. A birthday party! What, what a lucky boy you are. Tell me what you got for your birthday. Yeah. My name is AJ now. 
he thinks he's getting too big to be called little Adam anymore. Oh. So we went with initials, yours and theirs. Oh. AJ, I think that's perfect. <laughs> Me too. What is it, honey? Daddy didn't get any of my cake. Wow. Uh, I tell you what, uh, why don't we just go get that cake and bring it in here and then your daddy can have it when he wakes up. How about that? Would you know? Oh, would you know? Oh. Uh. Uh. Can we see you? The good news is JR has regained consciousness, uh, but there's serious internal bleeding. His platelet count's way down. We're gonna try to replace those along with some whole blood, IV fluids. Once the transfusion's done, can he come home? At this point, JR is very vulnerable to infection. If he leaves, chances are he'll end up right back here. So I'd like to keep him in the hospital. For how long? Indefinitely. It's not like you're gonna be able to take over the company this instant. You do realize that, don't you? And Greenlee loves fusion. She's stubborn. The idea that you, of all people, will be running it will make her want to hold on even tighter. David, the only way that I can ensure that my daughter will have a company to come back to is if I take total control. <laughs> I'm sure there's just a little bit of all for Erica, too, don't you think? David, at this point, I am the only one who can save Fusion. I have saved it more than once. And the sooner I'm free to run the fusion without any interference from Greenlee, the better. I'm going to need some time. I understand. I understand it's delicate, but if you take too much time, Gail is just one phone call away. Did you ever think that all this might be moot? If it's true that Greenlee hasn't called me once, what are you going to do if she's back with Ryan? How long did I sleep? What did you do all this time? Uh, Watch you. Did you know that you still make that real cute noise when you sleep? <sighs> bad head, such a good look on me. It's one of my favorites, actually. You're beautiful. But I'm still a prisoner. No, you're not. You're free to go. Breaking race. He's so close, he can almost taste it. Now, Gerald Evelyn must prepare for another battle. It's his last day for Olympic glory in Vancouver. He's up against the tenacious Koreans and the USA's most decorated winner for the Apollo Anton of Top Competition. But Evelyn is too. Don't miss Gerald Evelyn. Let's for an Olympic medal in the men's 500 meter short track. Right on CTV.